Snail mail is a thing of the past, or so it would seem. People are writing to one another and preferring email over letters and cards. And yet artist greeting cards are one of my biggest sellers. And that's true for most artists I know, and I wondered why that was. I'm going to show you as I open my new series of greeting cards. Hi, I'm Cathy Reed, and in a moment I'm going to open this box, which is, contains my first set of cards from my new series of paintings, Treasures of Toaster. But first I wanted to share why I think artists are thriving in an age of email. I've got a few notes here, so I'm going to be consulting that, but I'm going to try and do this all in one go. This is my first full take work video. So I grew up in an age where letters and cards were the norm in an era of instant communication. Nowadays, personal letters are rare. And yet when they're received, it's just as exciting as it was when I was a child. The biggest thrill is that you're touching something that's traveled and the last person who touched it was someone you care about. And that person could be not on another planet, but on another continent, certainly miles away from where you are. Sure, the postie might have touched it and touched the envelope, but not the contents. And I vividly remember the thrill of hearing a letter arrive in the door and running to see the post on the doormat. And that was especially exciting when it was a bright colored or something that you knew was going to be more than just the letter. Something wandering around outside and I got a bit distracted there. Uh, so where we go. So let us take time to write. So few people do these days, but cards are short and have a beautiful image on them. You can write a little or a lot and that suits most people. So now the final reason, and I want you to imagine the thrill of receiving a letter as I open this box for the first time. So here goes. I've got two cameras on this, so hopefully I'll catch everything. And I may flip between the two, but I'm doing this in one take. So first I'm cutting it. I have to peel this off this one. It's not going to open. Let's try there. Peel. Let's turn it around there. So there we go. Let's see what we've got here. It's all packaged up in so much bubble wrap. Move the box out of the way and let's see what we've got, shall we? We've got one, two, three packages. Well, I know what these are, so I'm going to do the boring bits first. So first of all, we've got envelopes. And that's obviously another package of envelopes. Yep, so that's all my envelopes. And let's get into here, shall we? Oh, I love that sound. Everything. And here we are. I've got a problem with that one already. There's a trouble whenever you do something for the first time, you never know quite how it's going to turn out. And I've got a little flaw there, which so that's going to be true of all the first set of these, but the, the rest will be should be fine because that's just my um, outside card that shows you what's going on so I'm gonna have to get those redone but uh, the rest so this is the first one this is um, toaster mill and I need to put it the right way up so this is toaster mill and when I decided to do the series I was asked by the gallery who are exhibiting the um, treasures of toaster paintings for the first time they asked me could I do some local views, so I chatted to a few friends I've got in Toaster and they said the mill was one of those landmarks that I needed to include. So that's the first one, that's Toaster Mill. And all those will be the same, so look, I like to do a fan like that, that's just fun. I can be a lady, but can I remember a fan like that? 
number one. There are five different cards. So the next one is a spawn center, which I think was an old coaching in by the looks of it. So we shall, uh, I need to find out some more about that one. That's a nice thing about doing something like this. You discover the buildings and start them, and then after a while, you can go and um, research what they are. Sometimes you research beforehand, sometimes you research afterwards. Um, I've had a bit of a quiz on one of them, which I'll show you in a minute, where uh, I'm not quite sure what the building's for, so, but I wanted to do it because it was so interesting. So next we've got the post office, and you see that one there. Where am I upside down? I'm not sure which way this camera's going, so I'm going to go that way. It might be better that way up. I think I've got that upside down. But there, I'll show you on the, the camera there. So that's, that's the post office. And next we've got one of the oldest buildings in Toaster, which is the Ch Chantry House. Um, I believe that's where Spawn School started, or certainly in that area. Again, I'm still finding out the um, history of the place. Yes. And last, but by no means least, is one probably the most iconic building in in the uh, in Toaster, which is the Town Hall. And I'll put some stills of these in so that uh, when when I edit this together, so that's how we go. And oh no, I've wrecked my bottom card. I didn't appeal to it, so that one is ruined now. Unless I can peel that off very carefully, but I'm not going to. Oh, it might come off. It might come off. Did it come off? Yeah, it's coming off. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Forgot there was sellotape. Sellotape's a bit of a pain. I'm just going to peel that off and then I'll finish the video. It's come off. Phew. Don't rip. Excellent. Excellent. So there we go. So that's my treasures toast card. The toast card? My treasures of toaster cards already and what i'll need to do is fold them up and pack them up for for uh, for uh, taking down to the gallery later but that's that now i mentioned i had a picture that i'm going to get from here which is another one i'm going to show you now i'm not going to show you. i it was quite easy to decide which pictures to do because i've only had six and i had five to choose but uh, I've done a few more since I ordered those cards and this one was puzzling me. So this one has been untitled of Toaster for a little while, but I found, just found out it's the International School. It was, I don't know whether it's where Sp Spawn School started. I need to find out about that. And when I do know, I'll put that in the, in the description below. So there you go. That's my most recent series of paintings made into cards. Treasures of Toaster will be available on my website. I'll put a link in the bottom to get them if you're interested in the cards or even if it, uh, you're interested in the painting. Um, what else do I need to say? I've opened them, see now they turn up. So finally, um, do, 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 mention that, mention that. They said, how advantage of this? I can figure out what I've done. So there we go, that's, that's my series of new postcards, new postcards, new greetings cards. Um, don't forget to like and comment and subscribe for more unboxing videos and art content in the future. Hit the bell icon to hit. Shall I try that again? Don't forget to like and comment and subscribe for more unboxing videos and art content. Hit the bell icon to stay updated on all my latest uploads. I'm trying to do more of these videos and I'm experimenting with different styles. So if you like this more than the others, let me know and I'll do more of this type of thing. Thank you for watching, I'm Kathy Reed.